Hey everyone, so this is Deb. I'm going to teach you how to use the expense tracker on your Android and how to download it. So first, the main thing you need is the Drive app. So usually it should be there already, but if you don't, download it. So then you should open Chrome and go to my website. It has to be Chrome or your mobile browser. It can't be the TikTok browser. It doesn't work. So then you scroll down and go to the download free expense tracker and form. Select your account and then it will open up like this. So what you have to do is make a copy of the expense tracker only. Don't look at the form, don't even touch it, just look at the expense tracker. So you click the three dots, then go to make a copy, then select my drive, then press select again, and it will create a copy for your drive. So what you should do is just go back to the home button, and it will show this. And as you can see, it has the copy of the expense tracker and also the copy of the form, which automatically copies when you just do the tracker. So you don't even have to open the other one. So if you want to test to see if it works, go open the, the form, then go to the three dots. So when you look at this, you can't submit anything because you can. this is the file that you edit. But if you actually want to submit stuff, go to the three dots next to your little icon, and then you go, preview and then this is where you insert your data so you can just select the day just say you bought a jacket today then it costs seventy dollars and then you just add it under shopping then submit so that has been submitted then you can go back to drive open this up and it will show your input which is here and then if you go here you also see that it's updated. So everything used to be like $10 and now this total is $80 because I've added the jacket, which is 70. And it has your graphs as well. So confirming that works, the way you add this to your home screen is that you open this again and you go to the three dots again and press preview. Then this is the thing you want to save to your home screen because this is your form. So you go to the three dots and then you go add to home screen and this will pop up. So then you get, you can name it anything you want. Press add. Yes, add automatically. And then you'll add. So then when you go back and click it, it's exactly this web page. And that's it.